and welcome back oh to the eighth installment of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm Sissy and this is Joey. We are following this little monkey in here. I always love the music in here. Okay, I cannot stand being anything but a daycare scrub here because I will fall into the poison water and it's so much easier to just bounce around on top of it. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not any enter any other areas whatsoever. And of course, on any video game ever, do not enter means go! That's the next place you're supposed to be headed. And I was just very reckless. So I'm gonna have to start over again. Um, yeah, I normally do just fine at this, so I'll just have to pay a little bit more attention to where I'm headed and whether or not I'm being seen. Which, this is actually a really easy area, like. Oh crap, as far as stealth type areas in Zelda go, this one's one of the easiest. I mean, I have, I don't really have trouble with any of them, but where is, oh, I ran right into him. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe there was a guy there. <laughs> right when I'm telling you how easy this area is. I don't know, I think I, I've heard that there's a Let's Player curse. I guess that's it. That I'm just gonna get caught all the time. And run right into a guy that I can't see because he's behind one of these uh, Deku Flower platforms. I don't know. Okay, so there is a guy right there and I can see him now. I somehow missed him the last time up there. Or I wouldn't have ran through there. But usually, for the most part, I don't have any difficulty with stealth type areas. Unless, of course, I'm not paying attention because I'm not used to doing Let's Plays. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to wait on this guy. Sorry about the wait, guys. Um... I don't know, I don't like these areas, but they never give me a problem, or anyone else really. They shouldn't give anybody problems. I don't understand. How the heck am I supposed to get over there? Oh, there. Okay, now, at this point, we should just get caught and thrown out so we can go the other way. Uh, the whole point of this direction was to get that heart piece. Now we are going to go the other direction, and I'm surprised that these guys keep letting you back in. It's such an inefficient system, <laughs> but I guess they gotta make it that way or Link would never save the world, would he? Okay. Well, I guess it's not the world, it's like Termina or however you say that. That's how I always say things. I mean, I think that pronunciation might make people think I'm an idiot, but I'm just from, <sighs> I'm just from Southern Ohio is where I'm from, so I'm going to pronounce things like I am, and I'm not sure if I should go or wait, I should have waited, I'm glad I did. Okay, now we drop down in this hole here. And we're going to buy a couple different things right here. Well, we're going to buy one thing, but we're going to buy them a couple of different times. You're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. I'll give you one free sample. So. Da -da 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 -da. You got a plant. I'm going to buy a second one of those. And you can plant one right here, but all that's up there is 
20 rupees. Oh, you can kind of see the cliff that's out there. And on top of there, there's a treasure chest and there's just 20 rupees and I don't really want the rupees that badly. Oh, I forgot to get the water. So I don't really want to get the 20 rupees that badly. I'm going to go ahead and just grab some water and get out of here. We can also get thrown out again. And this is the part I was, well, I don't even know if that got put in. I don't remember. But this is the part that I was talking about. And watch me. I'm going to run all the way back through to the entrance without, there we go. This is the part I was referring to when I was talking about how I didn't have a lot of difficulty with the Deku flowers in other places. Because in just a minute, we're going to have to fly around on some moving platforms. And I guess it's because these ones aren't really as hard. And not because it was just that I was talking that I sucked. But I think that it's not my fault. Okay, so magic beans belong on Y and bottles belong on X, and I know that's completely psycho, but you will learn, you will never see like, I don't know, you will rarely if ever see any items on buttons they don't belong on. Like, you might get used to where I think things belong, which is just weird. It actually gave me a lot of trouble in Twilight Princess because there were two items I had to use in one boss fight that I thought both belonged on the X button. Okay guys, I accidentally managed to get shot down by that guy right here. Which, this is the only part that gives me any trouble about this, usually. Of course, since I'm doing a Let's Play and I'm like accountable to people you probably will see me die a lot more often than I expect to I promise I will take more credit than I deserve I suck at some things in fact a lot of things but if, if we drop these um Deku nuts on these guys we should usually work out fine which I think I can just avoid this one because it's not that big of a deal and now we're going to cross over the top and wind up on the side that we started on where we got the hard piece. Hey guys, sorry, I've been having some technical difficulties. My editing software was not recording. As you can see Hi. there, over in that general direction is where we just came from, where we crossed over. We're on top of the side where we got the heart piece now. And we are trying to make it through all of these platforms and if I can avoid getting hit it should be easy but I tried to record this about two times already and it just didn't record thank goodness I noticed because otherwise I would have had to start a new set of days so that you guys could see all these cutscenes which are coming up right now so we talked to him and he says maybe we talked to him we talked to him and he says they keep saying that I kidnapped her, no matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Why won't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Fly the ocarina. Yes, so we are going to pull out our Deku pipes. And then he says, oh, you have them? You do? Just like the princess? Deku pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? And then we fall over. Gosh, we're Link. We're here to save the world. Well, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster slayer, and by and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yes. I don't want to hear you say all that again. So then, that means you will go in my place and save the princess? Yes. Because we're courageous like that. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear it, so I sing it softly. Open your 
ears and listen hard. Okay. I tried to be quiet so you guys could hear that song. I did not hit that button. I tried to be quiet so you guys could hear that song. And so, with this, we've learned a song that will help us get to the temple. I'm excited. <laughs> So we will probably make it all the way to the temple in this episode, definitely in this recording. I'm never sure where to end my episodes because I'm not used to like, well, estimating how much I'm going to cut out. You learn the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows, it proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. So, he's being kind of a jerk. You'd better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to Woodfall Temple, but you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku king. 